challenges French idol Marcel Serdan for the World Middleweight Championship. Detroit, 16th of June, 1949. We pick up the action here in round five. Jake LaMotta in dark trunks with a white waistband is the number one challenger in the division. He is five feet eight and weighed in at an even 160 pounds. Serdan, five feet seven, weighed in at 159 and a half pounds. From start to finish, this was a rousing battle as LaMotta and Serdan stayed toe to toe. Serdan won the middleweight championship with a KO win in 12 rounds over Tony Zale in September of 1948. In round eight, the action never lets up. LaMotta has had recent wins over Joey DeJohn, Robert Villamain, Tony Gennaro, and Tommy Bell, and a KO victory over knockout puncher Bob Satterfield. Serdan was a courageous boxer. In this fight, a fall in the first round injured Serdan's left shoulder. You will notice he can't use the arm at all. Serdan throwing only one punch, the right. LaMotta knows it, and although he respects Serdan, he wants that title. In round nine, LaMotta, always a great puncher, stays close, trying to minimize Sir Dan's right. LaMotta in dark trunks with the white waistband sends his victory, but the gallant Frenchman won't give up, trying to get one punch home that will end it all. But LaMotta, who can give it as well as take it, steps up the pace. Sir Dan still unable to use that left hand, still using one arm, his right. The end comes dramatically in the 10th round when Sir Dan cannot answer the bell. This left arm, injured in the fall of the first round, proves Sir Dan's undoing, and Jake LaMotta is the new middleweight champion.